Well, I've kind of had some second thoughts. I'm going back and forth between these battery packs. Am I going to break them? Am I going to make it 12? Am I going to make it 24? Um, and uh, I had enough of them to play around with, so I'm trying something a little different, a little cleaner look. I've got a uh, piece of half inch, good one side. Just happened to have it left over. And so now I'm trying to mount them on the board using uh, this size screw, six by one and a half. And uh, you can see here on the side that they, uh, they go down in about halfway through the board. There you go. Enough to get a bite. Anyway, these are the two safest locations to mount them. And then I also have a third down here. Uh, because these run in, in or in series this direction. So I, it might be safe to mount them there. I'm trying to put just a little bit of space between them. And uh, this will help shore up this end if I did decide to put a... Uh, see here, if I push hard enough, I can push them together. So... I'm going to mount 10 of them on this board. I think ideally it would be nice to cut the board in half and stack 5 and 5. In that way I can take half the pack and put it up on top of the other pack and then maybe mount them in a case or a toolbox or something like that. But anyway, my thought is if I can get them mounted on a board like this, then I can tap into the 32 volts down here on the end. Or I guess if I wanted to tap into the 12s, I could do that too, however I want to tap in it. And you see, these are full boards. I've not broken off the other end and had any more sparking incidents. So, anyway, that's what I'm working on right now. I've got them screwed across. And I'm basically putting the screws in out here and moving it over, separating and putting them down in there. So pretty soon I'll have 10 of them. And uh, then I'll, I'll be jumping some, some wires. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to narrate over this video. I don't know what happened to my Pixel 3 XL, but for some reason this video I shot yesterday, it did not record the audio. Anyway, I've had a change of thought. I sl uh, lost some sleep last night, not sure what I'm going to do with this battery, and I thought mounting them on this board isn't going to work. So, I'm still waiting for my dongles to come in for these and my replacement from Battery Clearing House. Um, I can't really do anything without that dongle. I'm hoping Ju Jehu uh, gets those soon because uh, that's going to be part of a build, a four battery build, and uh, I could really use those. Um, this is a unit that I made last year. I bought three of those battery packs from Jehu, and um, I could get the BMS working on the charge side, but not on the um, discharge side. So I had to put a meter in here so I could control the voltage. I charge it up to 42 and I charge it and let it discharge down to 30 and uh, have to keep an eye on it manually. So those new dongles I really am looking forward to setting up this new pack differently. You can see this wood enclosure that I made. I carry around with me, use it in the van, uh, use it on the back deck or whatnot. You know, use, I watch TV in the bedroom off of it just to test, test it out. But uh, Got a hole in the side to carry it. I put holes for ventilation, but uh, I also put a bucks converter into it to where it'll regulate a 12.2 volt output. So it's going from the 37 or 42 volt down to 2.2. Got a cigarette lighter and, that he, and uh, USB ports in it. And uh, the cigarette lighter, I actually uh, have a small inverter. Um, it is a uh, is it a Vestic, Vestic 300 watt uh, pure sine wave in inverter. Uh, it's good enough in, in case of a power outage, good enough to use in the van to get some TV and lights going, uh, camping trips, things like that. So that's the one I made last year. I'm hoping to do a little better job this year with these. Uh, put it in a toolbox or something a little more substantial than a well, plywood box. Uh, getting back to these batteries here, you know I've got quite a few of these yet to go. I bought 20 of them. All together. Uh, originally I thought I was going to mount it down to the board and I thought heck what the heck you know maybe I got another idea here if I put them in packs of three stack them on top each other 
um, then maybe I could fit them into some type of a toolbox or a plastic carry case or uh, egg crate, anything like that, or milk crate, I should say, uh, anything like that. So, and also busting them in half and getting the sparks kind of freaked me out a little bit. So, uh, my plan is to tap in here at 24 volts and just jump her over to the next battery and in all three of them in that pack. Uh, I can either go back here and get 12 volts and then get the opposite 12 volts on this side and combine the reds and the blacks and parallel and have a 12 volt system or I could come up and, and do the 24 volt system up here using these. So I think that's what I'm going to do is go with the 24 volt system. I'm not quite sure <laughs> what I was saying here but uh, I'll let the video catch up with my thoughts now. The uh, board was too big of an idea to carry around, um, so what I did is I broke it into packs of three. I used half the case to protect the cells from getting scratched. I can still tie in for the BMS leads. And uh, the main thing is I can stack them on top of each other, so the footprint is a lot less. Now my thought is if I stack these on top of each other with a piece of part cardboard in between to kind of protect the uh, BMS board and the wires that uh, the footprint will be a lot less on this. And then the very top one will be just one so it will be a total of ten packs which will leave me room for my BMS or any other gauges or voltmeters or things like that that I want to try to wire in there and also for my wiring to come together. I'm just going to jump down the outside of each pack with the BMS and with the main 24 volt leads and uh, I think that will be a lot better system. Now let me show you how I'm doing these packs. Um, just so you have an idea of how I'm using the case. So here's a case. Pull it apart. I'm going to use half of it, the side with the posts. First I'm going to snip off this long protruding handle. So we don't need that. It snips off real easy with a pair of side cutters and then uh, there's two posts in the middle of the battery pack and then one post on the end that we're going to tie into with the original Torx number nine screws so we set that in there I'm going to put one on the end down here the original screw and then two more up toward the middle of the pack using a number nine Torx tool. Somebody said online it was a number ten but it's actually a number nine. So I'm not sure what I was saying at this point but uh, I'll just let the video finish out here and then hopefully the next video that I shot has sound. Okay, here's another update. Looks like I'm going to have a delay on building my battery. Both of them, actually. These here, we're waiting for the dongles from Jehu. Otherwise, I'm good to go there. I do have one more unit coming to replace one of the units because it had a bad plug on it. And then all of these new batteries, I'm kind of at a standstill right now. Here's the battery pack that I talked about building last and uh, I'm not able to penetrate these solder joints with my 30 watt or 40 watt soldering iron so I had to 
order a new side iron iron. So while I'm at it, I ordered a side iron iron. I ordered a Dolly BMS. Oh, I ordered some other odds and ends. And uh, now that I'm sitting back looking at this, trying to see what kind of case it'll fit in, I thought, well, I'll take some measurements of it and let you know what it's looking like so far. Again, I've got three, just to, I've got three of them kind of combined together. And uh, what my plan is, is to jumper the three of them here, here, and so on, and then have two come out the side, go up to the next bundle. Um, and kind of combine them all in the 24 I, th I think I'm heading toward the 24 volt because that's what I ordered was the 24 volt dolly BMS but I thought I'd give you a quick measurement of what this looks like in case you're inter interested oh a little less than seven about six and three quarter inches wide oh it's gonna be more than 12 there's 12 there, plus an additional, probably about 14 inches altogether there. And then to clear this thing, to get it in some type of a box, give me a little bit extra clearance. Maybe looking at six inches of clear, but probably six and a half or seven would be better. And now I'm almost thinking that this will be about 600 and some watt hours, I think. And I'm almost thinking about doubling it. Maybe stacking three more on top. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven there. So I could stack two more on top of this. I also have these over here that I was going to make into 12 volts. So I'd kind of like to still end up with a 12 small volt, 12 volt battery at the end. So anyway, not much progress, but I just wanted to update you. I'm waiting for uh, supplies to come in. So uh, we'll catch up with you later. Consider this being part two. And again, I'm a newbie. I'm learning just like everybody started at one point. I sure appreciate your support and uh, kindness. Thank you.